Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a top 10. All right, so today we're gonna to look at the top 10 decks of cards from Daniel Madison. If you don't know who Daniel Madison is, he currently uh, is one of the celebrities down at illusionist.com. Uh, way back in 2011, Daniel Madison appeared on Penn & Teller's Foolish television show in the UK. You might have seen him on that. If you look at his ad copy, if you believe uh, his story that's printed about him, his character, his magic character, uh, it says that in April 2000, he was banned from casinos for using an advanced memory technique of card counting to cheat at blackjack which left only backroom poker games for his attention and after six months as a card cheat the repercussions of his uh, sleight of hand led Daniel to being put into the hospital so his life as a poker cheat had come to an end and after uh, having his debut lecture notes rejected by the magic community Daniel held a private lecture at a major 2005 convention for an invite only audience and it was the success of this lecture that launched Daniel into the underground spectrum of the industry as a definitive magician. Aside from working at Illusionist he is also one of the first 11 magicians who started Theory 11, and from there, he has had an incredible career. Now, previously, I did do a top 10 list for the Illusionist playing cards, and if you wanna see that uh, list, you can click the link in the description below. This one is completely only devoted to Daniel Madison decks. You wanna get into it? All right, let's start. All right, coming in at number 10, the Madison Players. Uh, this was originally released from Theory 11. This is the deck that started it all, and to the casual observer, uh, you wouldn't see anything out of the ordinary, but deep within the design of this is a marking system which reveals the identity of each and every card. The deck comes shielded in a premium white linen box, which is a very subtle texture, and the back design utilizes a small amount of ink, which makes the player's deck really smooth and really durable. Number nine, the Hellions. These decks were made as an homage to David Blaine's Gatorbacks. The Hellions were officially introduced by Daniel Madison earlier uh, in this year, but it was impossible to get your hands on one of them unless you uh, followed these uh, email uh, notifications that Daniel put out maybe to impress him through a series of challenges. Uh, later, Illusionist released them to a small community of people. Number eight, the Inverted Kings. Uh, this was a release, joint release, from Daniel Madison and Peter McKinnon. Uh, and everything you loved about the earlier White Kings edition that was released has been kept in this limited edition. This one, uh, there was only 5,000 decks printed. It was traditionally cut, released in Mamonica stack, and included the Angle Z gaff card. And number seven, the Daniel Madison Revolvers. This was a very... Uh, limited release. There were very limited releases of these. I think I got mine at uh, Christmas time uh, a year ago when uh, Illusionist made them affordable and uh, they sold out really fast. So I'd be surprised if these were uh, still affordable. Uh, again, really minimal design. You got that repeating image of Daniel Madison's logo on the back. You're going to have a nine of clubs reveal on the tuck case. Uh, beautiful casino stock on the cards. You're going to get a double facer, double backer. You're going to get the two cut cards, the two casino cut cards. And instead of a large ace of spades, you'll get a large ace of diamonds. Number six, Erdnays by Madison. Uh, this was a highly limited edition set that was released along with a couple of other uh, fun items that paid homage, uh, paid tribute to the expert at the card table. Originally, this was uh, released and then pulled from the shelves and then it came back again. And really the only way to get this deck was to get the box set. Number five, the Hustlers. Uh, the Hustlers came in purple and a limited edition orange, and they were said to be the last two decks ever to be created with the Madison logo series. These decks were heavily inspired by the different casinos from the 50s and 60s, and uh, they kind of looked like they were pulled right out of an Ocean's Eleven film. This deck features a new Ace of Spades and a new Joker that has a special hidden reveal and a one-way back design. Number four, the Roadhouse deck. Uh, Daniel Madison released this along with Open Jones as a homage to the classic Steamboat deck. So he made this with gamblers and card cheats in mind, but also uh, it's kind of smooth for magicians. You got a borderless design, high quality thin stock, traditionally cut, 
And it includes an extra nine of clubs and one double back card. Number three, the Rounders. Uh, I love this deck. It's crisp, it's sharp, it has a buttery smooth finish. I think it's totally understated, it's simple. Uh, the Madison logo is what shines on this clean black canvas. Printed by the United States Playing Card Company. You can't go wrong. Uh, this has gotta be in your top three. Number two, the Madison Dealers. Uh, this is easily one of Illusionist's best, most practical, and most affordable Mark decks. You have an edge-to-edge -edge back design. It's printed in the same uh, Pantone green color as Erdnay's expert at the card table. It exclusively uses the Madison marking system. It allows the card to be secretly identified face down. You got stylized A, stylized Jokers, uh, beautiful Madison court cards. I love everything about this deck. And number one, the Gold Kings. Uh, high quality playing cards. This is everything I love. Minimalistic beauty, stunning design, sturdy, flexible, great for sleight of hand, highly stylized, crisp pip designs, designed by both Daniel Madison and Peter McKinnon, printed from the United States Playing Card Company. I love, love, love this deck. All right, so that is my top 10 list of my very favorite Daniel Madison playing cards. Did I mention yours? Did yours get put in this list? Is it not at the place that you maybe thought it would be? Let us know in the comment section below. Did I forget a deck that you love more than these? Maybe you like the Red Kings. I don't know. I almost put those on there. Be sure to tell us what you think. Remember, this is my top 10 list, not yours. So these are the cards that I love, okay? These are the cards that I love. I'm going to try to do more top 10 lists. I promise. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.